Greetings gents, I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today we're gonna to mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna do a product review. I've done one of these before. This is the Carpuride. It's a device that you can put in your car. If your car was manufactured before 2017, I believe it is, then it doesn't have a backup camera built into it most likely. So if you don't have one, you can add this to your vehicle. All you need is a cigarette lighter. That's how it plugs in. That's how it powers up by way of a cigarette lighter. I'll post a link to my previous video where you can check that one out too. This will give you Apple CarPlay and Android Auto from your phone to this device. It'll be just like a factory, but it'll be installed just above the dash or wherever you choose to put it. I actually used Velcro. I didn't use any of the mounts that were in here. I actually used Velcro to mount mine directly over a certain area on a Jeep Wrangler that I have. And it works perfectly and I'm really happy with it. This is a new version. You can see this is the shape of it. It's rectangular, so it's a little bit shorter. It'll be less obtrusive. You'll be able to look over it much easier. I will unbox it. I'll take everything out one at a time. I'll explain what everything is, turn the unit on, power it up, and I'll describe everything about how it works. Pressing all the buttons, going all the way through, showing how everything works. And then I'll show you how to hook up the backup or reverse camera as well, which is a fantastic thing especially if you have a vehicle like your Jeep Wrangler where you have the big spare tire in the back, you can't see anything out the rear window. This is perfect for that. You can mount it directly in the center of that spare tire and you can see everything behind you. It lights up at nighttime, illuminates the area. Daytime, nighttime, high definition view. You can see park lines, everything. So, and on top of that, you get the Android Auto or you get the Apple CarPlay working directly from your phone right through this to through a Bluetooth or direct wire either way very simple easy to get working and if you want to pick one of these up just click the link below the video where it says more or show more I'll have a couple of links down there where you can use a discount code the geo fat boy discount code get yourself a discount if you want to purchase one of these let's unbox it let's get to work this is an unboxing and we're going to look at all the parts of the Carpuride. This will allow you to have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in your vehicle if you don't have it already. So for the older vehicles, this will be perfect. Let's open it up. Here we have some instructions. Here's the device itself and the packaging. This unit runs off of the cigarette lighter in your vehicle or any item that has a cigarette lighter adapter where you have the female adapter, you can plug this in. This plugs directly into the unit and you can run it from there. It comes with a couple of different types of mounts. Let's take a look at these. This is a sticky pad mount you can mount on your dashboard or you can screw it down. It has four screw holes on it and then it's also adjustable. So this would mount directly to the back of the unit like so. You can see where it fits directly in just like that. Nice and easy. This is a sticky mount that is retractable, adjustable like so. So you can mount this directly to your dashboard with the sticky on a smooth surface like that. And then you can move it towards you or further away, tighten this down, lock it in place. This also goes up and down like that. This would mount to the unit easily, just like this. And then you can turn it or adjust it any way you want. This is a smooth mounting pad. If you don't have a smooth surface to mount the suction to, you can screw this down and then suction this directly to it. This is a microphone cable. This is your reverse camera cable. 
It comes with a mounting pad. So the mounting pad would go directly under it like that. And then this is the actual camera. You would mount this on the rear end of your vehicle, inside your spare tire, wherever there's a good location. And this, whenever you put the vehicle in reverse, it will show up on the screen. Whatever the camera is pointing to, that will show up and be visible on the screen. This is the cable that will run from the front of the vehicle, from the unit, all the way back to the camera. And then this will plug into the camera, like so. Yellow to yellow. And then the red will plug into this right here, this black. This will plug into the unit. And then these wires here, let me separate them so you can see them easier. The red and the black. One will go to your ground on the vehicle. The other will go to the wire that's activated when you put the car into reverse. So you'll have to find the 12 volt reverse wire, put the car in reverse, and when you get 12 volts to that wire, this is the one you want to tie to it. The black will go to any good ground location on the vehicle. And that's it. I have a separate video where I've already installed this cable from the rear of the vehicle all the way to the front, mounted the camera, and then tied in the power. You can check that video out. I'll put a link to it up above. Check that. Just click on that and you can view that video to see the entire process. All right, let's take a look at the unit itself. The approximate dimensions of the unit. The screen diagonally is 10.3 inches is what they call it. And then the physical dimensions, 11 inches long by just a tad over four and a half inches, four and five eighths inches high. So it's basically 11 by four and a half. Here are the instructions. Carpuride CarPlay Manual, 2.5 HD touchscreen, 10.3 inch portable, wireless car stereo, works with CarPlay, Android Auto, mirror, Bluetooth, TF Audio, FM, Siri, GPS. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Here's the instruction manual. Tells you what all the parts are. You have the power button, external mic port, that's what this cable is for. You can insert an SD card, audio out, USB, and the type C, which is five volt. And then the back of it is light sensitive. There's a sensor right here on the back. This is your mounting area. This is your power on off button right here. Here's a look at all the ports on the unit. Going from left to right, you have the microphone cable port. You have the mini memory card slot. Camera in is for your reverse camera on the vehicle. Audio out and then USB. And DC 5 volt is the power supply. That's your 12 volt cigarette adapter power supply. Let's plug this in. And let's see if we can power it up. I've got a 12 volt adapter here where I can plug this directly in. We'll hold down the power button. All right, here we go. We've got it powered up by our little adapter right here. So this would just plug into the cigarette lighter in your car. I have it plugged into the adapter so I can demonstrate this inside. And when you have it plugged into your cigarette lighter, when you start the vehicle, it will energize and come on automatically. So here's your home button. It shows your Apple iPlay, A Auto, AirPlay, AutoLink, EQ. Let's take a quick look at each one of these. Here's their support, support at carpuride.com. You just press the home screen, you press the question mark, and then if you need support, you can contact them right there. Here's volume, up and down. It's all touch. Here's your screen brightness. Just drag it, dim, bright. Let's go back to the home button. Here's your iPlay. So for your wireless connection, you would pair it and you would search for this device right here and that's how you would connect it. And then for your Android Auto the same way you would pair it with this number right here. 
Here's your AirPlay if you want to use the, the Wi-Fi. These are the codes you would use. It tells you the password and the Wi-Fi name. So this is how you can hook your phone up to the Wi-Fi on the unit. Auto link. This application is for wired phone or Android. So this is if you want to plug it in directly by way of the USB to this unit from your phone. EQ, this is an equalizer so that you can adjust the sound to your preferences. Here's how you pair your Bluetooth, discoverable, set your phone to pair, set this device to pair, and you uh, link them up together. Here's your USB, if you want to plug in your USB, which is right here, you can plug in a USB. If you want to plug in a memory card, also, there's a mini memory card slot right down here at the bottom. You can operate this through FM wavelength or Bluetooth, either way. Here's your settings. So now we'll get into, you can choose your language, any language you prefer. It's got many different languages here. We're going to stay with English. Let's set the time, 12 hour time. So we're going to go, I have 10, 39. So we'll go 8, 9, 10. Work our way down. 1039 right there. There we got 1039. This is nice that they show the analog clock and the digital clock at the same time. The device speaker, you can turn it on or off right here. Right drive, left drive. Restore factory settings and this will tell you your system version. So if you need a software update you can contact the company. Here's where you set your Android wired link or iPhone wired link if you want to plug it in directly. Here's your Wi-Fi passwords for pairing with your phone. And this is for your camera. Video warning, park line, park line setting, rear camera monitor. Let's see if I can show you the video camera. I've got a power supply right here. Let's see if we can get the video camera to work. These wires are pretty thin. Let's see if we can get them hooked up. So the one with the black will be your ground. I don't have any alligator clips, so I'm just going to tape the wire on here temporarily. So we've got the black going to the ground, we've got the other wire, the red going to the reverse wire, we got the black plugged into the red, we have the yellow plugged into the yellow, here's the camera, and then this is the part that plugs into the unit. Let's plug it in. It'll go to camera in. Now I'll turn on the power supply and we'll see if the camera becomes energized, if we can see it on the screen. Okay, here we go. The camera is activated. You can see me. If it's upside down, just flip the camera around like so. Here are the park lines that are adjustable. I'm picking up some interference from my power supply. That won't happen in the car. 
video warning uh, will have that on. Park line, this will show you visible lines. So when you're going in reverse, you can line up the lines on the screen with the lines in the parking space that you're backing into. This is your park lane setting. You can adjust these just by dragging, touch and drag. You can adjust these park lines like that. Then click OK. Close. And rear camera mirror. We'll turn that on. You can see the park lines. And that's how you use the camera. Again, there will be a link up there so you can check out the installation of the camera. No matter what's on the screen, as soon as you put the vehicle into reverse with the gear selector, the image of the reverse camera, whatever it sees, will show up on the screen. It's actually a really nice view, daytime or nighttime. It's high definition. It really gives you a good display and a good view of what's happening behind you. This camera is very useful, a great safety feature for any vehicle. And I believe it's after 2017, all vehicles manufactured must have a reverse camera built in. So if your vehicle was manufactured before then, then this device will come in very handy for you. You have your Apple CarPlay or your Android Auto, and then you have a reverse camera as well that really illuminates and shows you in a high definition image what's behind the vehicle when you put it in reverse. It could save lives, could prevent you from getting into an accident, could save you a lot of money right there just using the reverse camera alone. And again, it lights up at nighttime, illuminates the area, it has park lines, so it's really an excellent addition, a great feature for your vehicle. All right, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed that video about the car pure ride, giving you Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, in this neat little device right here. Communicates with your phone. What's on your phone shows up right on the screen. Can't beat that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, if you want to pick one up, just click down below where it says more or show more. So you can grab it right there. I'll also put a link where you can use a discount code and get the Geo Fat Boy discount if you decide to purchase one. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends. Over 500 videos, shaving and more. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.